<laughs> a little Mr. Cross. Alright. Um I guess we'll just I guess we'll just dive right into it. Um, you are aware, I assume, of the murders that took a place about a week ago. Um, I believe that would have been February second. Yes, I'm unfortunately aware. Yeah, it was it's probably the, you know, biggest tragedy we've seen and God, I couldn't even tell you. But, you know, I guess, I think you know why you're here. You're in cuffs. I think we should just, I mean, I just want to get you out of here as quick as possible. I want to get out of here. I'm sure none of us want to be here. So I'm just going to ask you, you know, what were you doing that night? I mean, do you have an alibi? That would be great. That could set you free. It's, I just, I just want to know. Yeah, all I can tell you is I was alone in my apartment, uh, <clears throat> watching the television. All right, were you uh, alone? So you know nobody was gonna be. All right, that makes it you know that makes it a little bit harder for us. Um, you know, jeez, you're not making it easy on yourself. I guess we'll just say that. You know, we have. Two pieces of evidence, as I'm sure, you know, let's get the elephant out of the room. Um, we, me and my guys, you know, we dusted, we dusted these for prints. We didn't find necessarily anything off of the, the blade and the knife, but we did find something kind of interesting on the mask here. Um, so I just want to ask you, you know, has this mask, I mean, do any of these look familiar to you? Have you had a knife like this in your house? Have you ever bought a mask like this, you know? Very nice knife, I, I'll have to say that, but not ringing a bell to me whatsoever. All right, well, like I said, there was a, you know, a comeback on the on the mask, and we do believe, from what we've seen, we dusted it. We do think that the DNA matches and the fingerprints match your, you know, likeness. And I do want to add, we did have reports of, you know, People saying that someone with your description, I, you know, I, it's not, you know, too damning, but someone with your description was seen fleeing the scene of the crime. So I just want to, do you have any comments on that? Were you even near? Did you know the victims? Do you even? Listen, I'm, I'm not a very unique looking guy. There's probably like, I could probably count 40 people around this area that look pretty much almost exactly like me. I don't know anything about the victims, and I mean, the mask. There was a f maybe like a m few months ago, I bought a mask sort of similar to that at some sort of party store just for one of my buddies because they're having a Halloween party. But that was in October, so yeah, I, the mask. I, I don't even remember what it looked like. It. I'm not sure if it was the same mask. It, there's a chance, but I don't know. So, assuming that it is the same mask, which, you know, obviously isn't that big of a possibility. You know, was this ever, anybody ever report this mask? You or your buddy, you know, it being stolen or losing it, maybe? Someone maybe found it off the ground? Gee, used I, it. I'm, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know what to say. I haven't heard of the mask since I bought it, and... I don't even... I hardly remember that. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Listen, officer, I'm just going to ask you really quickly. Let's just get this bullshit out of the way. Am I arrested or am I not? I don't really think that's my... That's not really my field. That's not my say. So I couldn't... I mean, you know, fingerprints on the mask, that's typically not a... A really good sign for your innocence, but you know, I'll just it's just yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, I guess I can that's all I can really tell you. That's that's all I can really say for sure. Listen, I, I like to mark myself down as I kind of call a man like I'm very patient, I like to say that a lot, but right now my patience is running out very quickly. It's. What's. Alright. Theoretically, what's stopping me from just taking this knife right here? And this is just. And question. I'm just pretty curious about this. And just killing you right now. I mean, the knife is here. 
What's stopping me? I just want to know, officer. Mr. Cross, what's stopping you would be the officers that are patrolling this area constantly, and then my guys that are watching the cameras that are all over this place. So I guess the real question would be, how long would it take for my guys to come into the room and bust your ass? Listen, Mr. What's your name? Loomis. You can just call me Officer Loomis. Listen, uh, Officer Loomis, I, I really like you. You're probably the nicest cop I've met. N not that I've met a lot of cops, but if, if you're seeing my, if you're catching my drift, there's, I just don't want to have to, like, give you any trouble right now. Okay, so, like, how about we just get this over with already? Okay. Circling back to what you said, you know, am I arrested? It's it, it's not looking good. You make your prints are on the mask. You make wild accusations against me and the other officers in this. But I mean, it's just, you know, you're kind of digging yourself your own grave. And I mean, we can help you out, you know, if it was, you know, whatever, if it's like a accident, but I mean, I don't know. It's just I mean, is there anything else that you, like, want to say to, like, help your case? I mean, we're trying to help you. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're trying to find who did this. All right. Listen, officer. There, all right. There's not a lot of things that I like doing in this very cruel world at the moment. Or in my whole life. There's one single thing that has kept me going. And, and I'm going to be honest with you right now. That is murdering people. There... There's just something about the thrill. Like, do you see the blood stain on this mask? There's just something about it that makes it completely different. There's, I, I've had a wild journey. And I've killed a lot of people. Like, there's probably been a lot of cases where, like, murderers, you arrested people falsely, and it was probably me most of the time. But I'm just, I don't like to brag. I'm just so good that, like, I haven't been caught before. And, um... Now I'm just kind of finally ready for that journey to end. So, how about now that I told you all this, I res I hope that you'll do me the decency to just give me the death sentence. That's all I want. So what's it going to be? Mr. Cross, I think you've made your case very clear. I don't think there's anything else that you can say. I'll have some of my guys come in here and they'll figure out what to do with you. I can't say it's been a pleasure working with you. Hey, Mr. Loomis, have a good life. You too. Alright, come on, we're taking you out here.